just as the situation was starting to improve and Victoria was emerging from lockdowns in much better economic shape than anticipated, restrictions have been clamped right back down in metropolitan Melbourne and the Shire of Mitchell. The economic forecast once again grim. Unemployment is again forecast to hit peak at 11%. That's after it was revised down to about 9% again uh, once we were seeing that uh, better economic performance than anticipated. It is once again that peak of 11%, an extra 270 odd thousand people out of work as well as that gross state product expected to be impacted by 14%. Treasurer Tim Pallas saying that could take three years to recover from. We were um, becoming quietly optimistic that maybe our expectations in terms of the economic impact of this event would not be as bad as we'd thought. I think our thinking has now reverted back to where we were originally, and that is that we anticipate that uh, our unemployment rate is likely to peak at 11%. Pat Victoria's Jobs Minister Martin Pakula has appeared before the cameras for the first time since that inquiry into the Bungle quarantine program was announced. That's right, Annalise. Martin Pakula, the jobs minister here in Victoria, his name is one of several being thrown around as to who exactly is to blame for Victoria's bungled hotel quarantine program. Of course, we know that infection breaches from that program, which was being run by private security guards, are to blame for a substantial number of Victoria's second wave of cases. Now, when asked if, uh, to what extent he was involved in the planning and rolling out of private security guards for hotel quarantine. He simply pointed to the inquiry and said that he didn't want to prejudice anything the inquiry might have to say. When pressed, though, he did concede that his department, the jobs department, was one of many involved, at least, with the management of contracts with private security firms. He also categorically denied the assertion that he chose private security guards instead of perhaps the ADF or police because of his links with the a union representing private security guards, the United Workers Union. Here was Martin Pakula speaking earlier today. What's your response to uh, some accusations about your, your links to your old union? Is that well, 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 well that, that one I have dealt with. Uh, and uh, the reason I have is because it was, um, it was uh, a, a direct assertion of um, uh, you know, misbehaviour. Uh, and it's scurrilous and it's untrue. And I'm not going to allow scurrilous, untrue uh, assertions, which are not backed up by a shred of evidence because none exists. If you can answer that question, how come you can't answer that? Because I don't expect that to be a matter covered by the inquiry because it is, it is nothing more than a scurrilous rumour. Now, Martin Pakula hasn't yet been called to front this judicial inquiry. He has, though, said that he would be happy to appear if called.